was a city of mighty bridges, steel bridges. The steel in our bridges were made here, in our steel mills on the south side of Chicago, southeast side of Chicago. Everything here is American. Uh, our destination is Dearborn Avenue Bridge. Uh, the, the succession of bridges is you got Lakeshore Drive, you've got uh, Columbus, and then you've got Wabash, State, and Dearborn. Mine is Dearborn. Please clear the bridge. For your own safety and protection, ladies and gentlemen, clear the bridge. Dearborn is going in the air. And stand behind the barriers for your own safety, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you for your cooperation. What are these dials here? This is, uh, this is let you know the power level. This is let you know how much power you're using. Mm -hmm. to uh, electrical power that you are using to raise the bridge. If you, if you go too much, then the whole thing will shut down. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, this is here is to let you know how high you are going. How high do the leaves go? They go up to 70, uh, one, 71 feet. 71 feet. Yeah, we try not to raise it over seven. We try not to raise it over uh, 55. Why is that? Uh, because if you go, if you go too high, there's something to get stuck in the air, and you don't want to get it stuck in the air. <laughs> yeah. Randolph and all where was you got Dearborn Street in there. Dearborn is in here. So it's going up in the air now? Yes. Dearborn Street is going in the air. Uh, you see uh, we open it up to uh, 45 to 55 degree angle. You can see you can tell by the needles uh, on the dash uh, here. Uh, the bridge opens up to a certain position. And first of all, we have to open them up so that the mass of the boats can clear uh, the bridges. And then uh, the traffic will flow. Uh, now we have to eyeball, make sure that everything is safe down on the river. The city is built on top of the river. You know, so automatically, a lot of people don't believe this, but the river traffic has the right of way. You know, so no matter what, if, if they requested that we raise these bridges, we have to raise it because they have the right of way. A lot of people get upset over it. We have people that be trying to catch their train on Madison and Monroe, and they get totally upset when we have to raise the bridges, you know. But you try to explain it to them and tell them, well, look, there's nothing we can do about it because they have the right of way, you know. By law, by federal law, they have to say so. We don't have no say so. If they request that they want the bridge raised, we have to raise the bridge for them. It's all clear. Now, my foots are standing on what we call the emergency brakes. If I step off of these, this bridge will automatically stop and won't go nowhere. I have to stand on these to make sure that the, break, the bridge will go down. And tell the bridge is settled and seated, and then we'll work the bridge for the police. The destination is far from the bridge. Thank you. Now, these two buttons here are what we call seating buttons. You have to press these down to get the bridge to go into a seating mode. Center lock is going back in. You can tell when the center lock goes in by the two flaps that's on the side. How many times a day do you raise this bridge? Uh, the, one t one time a day, depending on whether or not if they schedule a boats for uh, two runs a day. Subs to maybe raise it three times a day. Now it used to be even a few years ago they put they put all these bridges up in, in order 
For two boats, right? For two little boats uh, in the middle of the day, they used to do. Well, that. no, but uh, by uh, uh, we've changed. The rules have changed. Uh, the name of the game has changed. Now uh, it has to be an aggregate of 80 or more boats before more than one bridge is open. We open them up uh, not to delay traffic. Uh, and not to be a, a hindrance to the pedestrians, and uh, since our mayor, uh, you know, uh, working along in conjunction with uh, with the business people in the city here, we try to be as accommodating as possible to everyone involved. Let the boats through, and let the pedestrians also come across the bridge. Uh, we are public servants, and as public servants, we think we try to accommodate everyone. No other city in the United States, I've traveled extensively in the United States, and no lakefront, no other city, including Canadian cities, has a lakefront like ours. The skyline is just beautiful. And every new building is like a jewel that's planted on the lakefront. Really beautiful. 